Hey friends, it's Glenna with Crafts by Glenna. Thank you for joining me for another project tonight. I have been fighting with technology for about 30 minutes now. So hopefully we're a go. If you pop on, please let me know in the comments if you can hear me. I was having echoing and I had no idea why. So I think I finally figured it out. So if you've been watching, Watching me this week, we've been working on fall projects all week, and I have been dying to make these tear toy pieces. So we are going to do that tonight, but first, oh, <laughs> Tina, I bet that's you, and it says Facebook user again. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I'm not the only one with technology problems. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I did a little shopping today, and I do not go craft shopping every day, just so you all know. But I am getting ready for three different events at our church, and I'm trying to buy things ahead while they are on sale. And so I wanted to show you my finds for today because I got some deals. So I'm going to move this out of the way. We put all these beautiful paste colors over here. Okay. So a friend texted me yesterday that Hobby Lobby had ribbon for 99 cents a roll. So I went and got my 99 cent ribbon today because red and black check is are the colors that i'm using along with white for one of our events so i got these and i found something at dollar tree yesterday that i think is going to be so much fun we will definitely i will definitely be doing a video with these so these are tiny wreath rings they're only eight inches and it comes with two in a package. I know, Tina, I don't know why it doesn't put your name in there sometimes. <laughs> oh, technology seems to never be the same two times in a row. So my thought is to take these and use this beautiful ribbon and make little centerpieces and put a tall candle in the middle. So. I will be doing that on a live as a project. Can't wait. I think that's going to be really fun. So I'm going to move these into my box. Sorry, that was loud with my other oven. So then I bought some things for me. And I got this red ribbon, but it's green on the back side. So it will be perfect for Christmas wreaths. So I'm going to use this for a wreath for my front door. So that will be alive also, but 99 cents. And these are, this one's actually only two yards. But what I'll do is I'll alternate this with solid red. So I love those. And then I got this purple. This one was only 49 cents and I couldn't resist because... I got this purple chalk paste. It's called Wisteria, not too long ago. Won't that be gorgeous together? Can't wait to use that. Yes, that was a great ribbon deal. I had to restrain myself. And not all of it was, I don't know how they chose. Some was... 99 cents and then others were the regular price. So I don't know what their criteria was, but I was happy to get some for 99 cents. And then I got these two because I'm always using neutrals. And these were 99 cents also. And these are four yards each. So those will be really pretty on some neutral home decor projects. And these are my favorites. 
Uh, Hobby Lobby Spring line is 75% off. And I'm not going to be able to get this all in the picture, probably. It's a tray. Let's see. Let's see if I hold it up this way. There we go. So this is the small one. And it's going to be so cute to put chalked pieces on. And I don't know if this tells the size. This is 13 inches by six and a half inches. It was $6. It's normally $22. And they also had a larger one. Yes, I'll have to show you my haul each time, but I really don't go every day. So I don't get very many hauls, actually. Okay, so this one I can't even get in the camera all the way. This one is 19.75 inches by 9.5 inches. It was $7. It's normally $30. So these will be so pretty to just put our chalk pieces on. So... If you want some awesome decor display deals, go grab these trays while they're 75% off and then we can put our chalk pieces on them. You could actually chalk on the top of this if you wanted to, but it is a pretty rough surface. So you would have to sand it or something. So I just wanna use it for displays, but I was so excited. I saw them last week and they were 60% off, I think, or 66, and I didn't get one. So I uh, couldn't resist when I went today. Okay, let's look at, oh, I did get one more thing. I almost forgot. These were in the fall section, and they're copper colored. And this says thankful, and this says blessed. And it was $4.99 for 10 of them, and they're to put on a place setting. So I will be using them as table decor for our fall event at church, but I just thought they were so pretty. Um, when I get my displays done for the tables, the centerpieces, I will post those after the event because I want the ladies to be surprised when they come in. So, okay. So let's pull all of our cute little pieces out here. And then let me move my screen where you can see my workspace. So I've already cut this transfer apart to save a little bit of time because I do want to show you tonight also how I clean my transfers because I've had some questions about that. So I have that all ready to go. After I chalk one, I'll bring that over and show you. Um, this one is called Autumn Tiered Tray. And so this transfer is made to fit all of these cute little pieces. If you saw my unboxing video, I showed all of them. They come in a set and they are super cute. So we have this adorable rolling pin. And then we have these little fake books. <laughs> and then we have our little tiny chalkboard surface. This you can clean with our board eraser and reuse over and over. And it is double-sided. Then we have this cute little mini frame. And an adorable little cutting board. So I have all my fall colors out here, a paste, let me see, let me prop these up again so that you can see all of my paste choices. I did not, let's see if I can get these to stay, <laughs> put my bone folders on each side there. I did not choose colors ahead of time because I thought I would just do it as we go. Those aren't going to stay there. There we go. Okay. 
I did choose what I wanted to put on each piece though. So I know I love these two. They are so much fun. And I saw another designer, actually my upline used our club couture transfer that I did. Was that yesterday or day before? It was day before yesterday. You can use this on these as well and just use pieces of it. So I will, I'm going to, I need to order another set of these. But once I do, I'll show you guys how to do that because it was so cute. And that way you get double duty out of your pieces. So what I want to do on the cutting board is just put home across here and then put some twine on the top. And I might actually put the pumpkins at the bottom. That would be really cute. All right, so let's go ahead and wax first. That way we have all of that done. And another thing I thought of, depending on where your tear trace sits, if it's against a wall where people will only see the front, you could do autumn on one side and Christmas on the back side. But if your tear tray is somewhere where people see both sides, then you can chalk fall on both sides now. And we are suspecting very strongly that they are going to be coming out with transfer a transfer like this for Christmas. So you might want to get a couple sets of these because that way you'll have your Christmas ones already ready to go. So again, we're going to wax the wooden surfaces. We don't need to wax the chalk board surface. This would actually be really pretty with one of our backgrounds chalked on the other side. We might do that on another. I think I'll do the front sides today and then decide what I want to do on the back and then come back later and do those. Tina, they are uh, they will come out with our next mini catalog in September. So we're expecting that they'll have the Christmas one with the December release. I mean September release. So we are pretty sure because they did tell us that they only released part of the Christmas with our latest little lookbook. So so exciting. And I am going to go ahead and wax the back of these as well, just so it's already done. I do that, try to remember to do that each time that I wax so that I don't, so that I know they're both waxed when I want to put something on the back. And it's just a little time saver as well. And if you wanted to, you could also chalk something down here. Um, I might just go ahead and wax this just for grins in case I decide to chalk on there. Those little pumpkins would be super cute. Actually, that's probably what they're made for, is to chalk on this. All right, and let's go ahead and do both long sides on the books. And you could obviously chalk all over these if you wanted to. I have to add something later. <laughs> that would be cute with some kind of a pattern on the top. 
Let's do a cute little rolling pin. I love this thing. It's going to be so adorable on a tear tray. All right. Easy peasy. Everything's waxed. So let me grab my heat tool. Let's just heat things up a little bit. like to heat up my wax and then buff it gives it a much nicer finish and it brings out the wood grain a little bit better I think and you could obviously distress all of these if you wanted to I love them just the way they are So that one's done. This would be cute as a Christmas ornament too. You could personalize it with someone's name and hang it, add a little twine as a um, Christmas decoration. That would be super cute. This. And this back side isn't really meant to um, chalk on, but we can anyway. I've done it on some of my other frames. Heat this up a little bit. This one is a rougher surface, but we can still we we'll still try to put the pumpkins in. It. I think that'll be cute. You could also just wrap a bow, a piece of ribbon around this, and tie a bow, or wrap some twine around the bottom too. That would be. Tina, they are not sold out of the cute elements yet. Um, I have not checked status in the last couple of days. I do know they have, I think they were out at one point and they restocked. But everything is while supplies last that's in the fall collection. So if there's something you want, you want to have it. I'm assuming that they'll either restock these for Christmas or they'll have something different for us to use at Christmas. I'm not really sure. We'll have to wait for some sweet peeps to see. I know on these books, I want to use that beautiful forest and the midnight shimmer I believe is what it's called shimmer moonlight can't wait to use that one gorgeous Right, we are waxed. 
in Bacht. And so now comes the fun part, deciding colors. All right. So let's do this one first. And I know I want to do home. And I think I'm going to do it in eucalyptus. And, oh, I missed a little seam here that I didn't cut. So let's go in and cut that. Make sure that that fits across there. Okay, those leaves, let's see. Actually, let me grab my tear tray because I might put it like this. I don't know if you can see that. If I put it on its side instead of up and down, I think I will. That way, okay, I'm going to fuzz it just a little bit. And let's put it like this. And again, I like to line these up with my grid, and that just helps me place things evenly. All right. So let's get our eucalyptus. Just spread it on like butter. Go back and scrape off the excess. And peel and reveal. Oh, that's so pretty. I love it. I wish I had some ribbon this color, but I don't. All right, so I'm going to set this up here so that it can dry. And I'm going to grab my bin that I wash my transfers in and just show you really quick how I do that. Get this in the camera. This is a bin that I got from Amazon. And I will put the link in the description. So I've got water in my little bin, and then this is my gently loved board eraser. <laughs> I showed you guys the new ones yesterday. So I put mine face up, and I just wipe the paste off. Some colors do stain the transfer, but that is fine. As long as you get all of the paste off. And so then I flip it over and I clean the back with my board eraser. And 
and let me grab my mat just to show you. So I'm going to move this out of the way. And I just have these mats from Dollar Tree. And these are the transfers from what I did yesterday. So they're on here drying. Um, I, let's see if you can see. My tools are on here from yesterday that are drying. So if there was still some paste on here, I would use my board eraser and I would just clean it again on both sides. But this one's clean, so I don't need to do that. So then I take, this is a Norwex, uh, what do they call it? Enviro and Scrub. It's got scrub on one side and an Enviro cloth, a microfiber cloth on the other side. I love this to clean my transfers. So I just clean the front, just dry it off. It's already clean, I'm just drying it a little bit. And then I just dry the back off. You wanna leave it drying with the sticky side up. And that's all you have to do. Tina, it is different than a magic eraser. Um, these don't have any type of chemical or anything, and some of the magic erasers do. And it's just a little bit of a different surface. Oh, hopefully I didn't. Okay. And Tina, thank you for sending me that picture. I know this is a little tiny piece. I might need to lower my camera just a little bit so you can see better. Because you can't really see that. It's looking blurry on my end. Is it? There we go. I think it's so cute. If you didn't want to use the Norwex cloth, a lot of people use disinfectant wipes. Um, I have to use green cleaning products for health reasons. So that's what I use and I love it. I love it. And then I have my other little Norwex here that I clean my hands with all the time and clean my um, squeegees with. So I'm thinking I'm going to order sets of those. And so then if anyone's interested in purchasing a set that has the one that I clean my squeegees with and the one I clean my transfers with, then I can send one to you. So I'll do that in the VIP group. That's the only place I'm allowed to do that kind of thing. So stay tuned. Okay, let's do this one next. I want to do leaves are falling, autumn is calling. And I'm not sure what colors I want to do. I think I want to rotate with some of those autumn colors. It, they need to be lighter colors because this is a chalkboard surface. So again, we're going to line it up here on my grid. And then I'm just going to line this up, kind of center it there. All right, so some of my, let's see, I definitely want to use that gorgeous rust color that I used yesterday. And let's use some camel. And some orange peel. 
And let's see, is there anything else I want to use? Ooh, let's use some Shimmer Harvest. I need to pull that one out. Use that somewhere today. Okay, so I'm gonna start out and I think I'll put leaves and autumn in rust. And actually I might put these away and just do shimmer harvest on the other two, on the other words. So let's do that. Isn't this gorgeous? Okay. Tina, shimmer paste are not harder to work with at all. They actually take a little bit longer to dry. So if you are doing a project, especially a larger one, you can do that first and then do your regular pace. And then that way it doesn't dry in your transfer before you're finished. And the shimmer pace are absolutely gorgeous. And just spreading this on and scraping off the excess, putting it back in my jar. We also have paste packets in a fall. Uh, there are six different fall colors, and our paste packets look like this. Whoops. They look like this. And so if you don't want the whole jar, you can purchase the fall pack with those six different colors. And you could do this whole project with it and even more, you would have some left over. So I forgot to mention that yesterday, but that is what I put in the shopping cart link yesterday so that you could get the paste packets if you didn't want the full size jars. And those paste packets are a great way to get started. And then if there are colors that you know you'll love and you'll use a lot, then you can go ahead and get the whole jar. Or if you're making decor to sell, um, obviously you probably want the full size jars because you'll go through a lot more. Now let's do our shimmer and do our squeegee cut in half. Actually, I'm going to peel this top one. I should have done the shimmers first. Let's go ahead and peel this so it doesn't dry. Oh, that's so pretty. I love it. I love it. And also, I just thought of this. When you're doing this one, you want to make sure that you put your transfer closer to the top because you have this base and it slides down in there. So if you put it too close to the bottom, then your words won't show or your design, whatever you use. Hopefully, I've got mine far enough up that it will still show. We'll have to see. Let's see if I can get these letters in here. And I could also use my detail tool for this. This one would be a fun one to do the hot mess technique too, like I did yesterday. All right, let's peel the deal. Oh, that's so cute. 
Love it. So let me put it up there so you can see. I don't know if you can see the shimmer. Oh, Tina, that's a great question. Yes, there. I have run out of jars. Um, definitely white and black or brown, depending on what you usually use for your decor, you probably want full-size jars. Uh, I actually used a whole jar of bumblebee, or yellow, and um, I had to order another one of those. And I'm trying to remember, red, the, um, because I did a lot of Christmas. So I've also used a full one of those. And I think that might be all so far. So that was doing a lot of fall and uh, Christmas last year. And I did go through a whole jar for sure. <laughs> Okay, since this says leaves are falling, autumn is calling, let's do some leaves on this little base. So I have this piece right here, and then this is our transfer. And I'm going to take this little piece right here with the leaves on it. And... We're just going to put it right on here. They've made it to fit perfectly. You could line it up at the very bottom if you wanted to. Maybe I'll do that. And you could probably do two across there if you wanted. We're just going to put one at the bottom. Sure, that straight. It's actually not quite at the bottom. I think we're just going to move it up in the middle because I want to do the hot mess technique and it will be a little bit easier if I do that. And this one you want to press it down really well because this is a wood, the rough, the uh, wood is a little rough there. So you want to press that down. So let's see. Let's do a little bit of rust. A little bit of Shimmer Harvest, and a little bit of Camel. Do just like we did yesterday, just dab a little bit of each color on. I need to order some more spatulas, so I'm having to clean this one each time. So then let's put some shimmer in there. I try to always put the lids on as soon as I use them because that way they won't dry out. And sometimes I've been known to finish chalking, go clean my transfers, and leave a jar of paste open on my craft desk. So we don't want to do that. All right. So now let's just 
jump from this side. And then we'll go back this way. And a little bit on the edge here, and I'm going to mark that. Oh, that's so cute. So then we have, I've got a little bit of paste up here too. Isn't that cute? Let's see. And I I know you probably can't see the shimmer. I'm sorry. But it does look gorgeous. So fun. All right. Let's do... Our book next. The lid is not going to go in my jar. Oh, no wonder. I'm in the wrong lid on the wrong jar. How if we fix that? This one's a little bit smaller, just a tiny bit. It wouldn't go on there. Okay, so let's do our book and okay, so for my books, I want to do, oh, I just got used this. I told you <laughs> I'm a messy crafter. <laughs> hard as I try not to be. Okay, so I want to use sweater weather, cozy blankets, and fall candles. You could do farm fresh pumpkins if you wanted to. You could do autumn vibes, but this is what I want to do. And let's see. Try to get this in the camera so you can see. Move all these out of the way. I'm going to fuzz this just a little bit. And I think when a, a lot of times when you see these, people will line the letters up over to one edge. And I want to do that because I want to put some twine over here. And it's really easy to line this up. And you probably can't see it in the camera but you can use this little indention here as a place to line it up because i can see it through the transfer so i'm going to make sure that that is straight and i think it's best to do them one at a time since they overlap a little bit so let's do sweater weather, and I want it in this gorgeous shimmer moonlight. I've been dying to use this color. Yeah, so I need to open it because it is brand new. So I'm just going to pull this off and scrape some of that excess back in the jar. This one will also be gorgeous for Christmas projects. I already have one that I know I will be doing. Hey Gina, thanks for joining. I'm so glad you're a messy crafter too. <laughs> it's not just me. Okay. This, oh, you guys, I don't know if I can 
do this justice at all in the camera, but it has glitter in it. It's so pretty. It's got gold specks that are beautiful. And I'm getting it all over me. Okay. So we are just going to, oh, this is so pretty. I love it. I really wish that I could convey the glitter to you guys because this is absolutely gorgeous. All right. I feel like I've got a little smear, but we will fix that. Oh, isn't that pretty? So I can see it sparkle. I know you guys can't see it, but it is beautiful. Yes, Gina, I think it's gorgeous. I'm just, oh, I just want to use it on everything. <laughs> so I might do, actually, I need to pull in my eucalyptus somehow. So I think I'll use that on one. So because the transfer will probably get really close to that, let's fix that little mistake. And then I will dry it. So you guys have seen me do this multiple times. I take this tool. It's in our artist toolkit. And I take a paper towel and I spray it with a little bit of distilled water. And then I just wrap it around the end of my tool and kind of press it in and then it's just like a little eraser and you just go in and sorry I'm trying to do this where you guys can see what I'm doing I must have to take my glasses off to get up close here So you just use it kind of like an eraser and it just cleans it right up. And then what I do is after it's really dry, I take my sanding block and I take this very corner right here and I just sand that and it cleans it all up works every time I do it anytime I make a little mistake so let's go ahead and dry this If you look at them in the light as you're drying the paste, you can always tell if they're dry. Right, so then the next one, I want to use this other new color. Actually, maybe I'll put eucalyptus in the middle. So I want to do the Cozy Blankets one. And I'm just going to press it one time and then I'm going to put these letters right up against the edge just like I did the other one. And again I'm using that line, I can see it through my transfer to line that up. So I'm going to use my eucalyptus on this. 
And this probably ran because I didn't press my transfer down well enough. So just always make sure that you press it down really well, all those clear spaces. So pretty. These colors look good in there as well. Right. And Gina, before you got on, I did show how to clean the transfers. So if you want to go back and watch the replay, you can see that. As I finish these, I'm putting them in my pail of water so they can stay there until I'm finished. And then as soon as I finish my lives, I go over and clean my transfers. So let's dry this one. And again, I'm sorry, I did that out of camera, but I'm doing turning it in the light so that I can make sure that it's dry. And our paste dry really quickly, especially with these letters because they're very thin or small, so it dries super fast. So then I'm going to use fall candles on the bottom one. And let's line this up and close to the bottom. And we are going to use this gorgeous new color called Forest. Love this one. And I don't think I've opened this one yet either. So let's open it up. This is so pretty. So again, I'm Putting some of that excess paste back in there. Okay. And I'm going to take my other tool and just scrape this down off the edges. So that when I put the lid back on, it doesn't dry up there at the top. All right. So let's do fall candles. And the, oh, this color is so pretty. This in the shimmer moonlight. I could do every Christmas chalking project in those two colors and I would be a happy camper. <laughs> so pretty. All right, let's peel the video. Oh, that's beautiful. Ooh, I love it. All right, so I'm going to dry this because it needs some time. If I had any beads in this color, I probably would add beads too, but I don't have any that color. So let me clean up my tools here real quick. Right, let's try this. Sanding block and fix my little tea. 
I know you guys probably can't see it all that great, but I got a little bit extra. So I just take the corner and just sand it a little bit. And it cleans it right up. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. So I just <laughs> smear it again. Okay. This is my twine. And I'm pretty sure this is from Dollar Tree and comes in a three pack. It's either Dollar Tree or Walmart. I don't remember. But if you pull it out of the center, you should just have an end in there. It's much easier to use. And a little trick. If you take a bone folder to your twine, it gets rid of all these little loopies. So you just pull it over the bone folder like this. And it helps straighten it. So let's see how much we want here. Sorry, I'm getting out of camera. Actually, I'm going to wrap this around a couple of times. So this is going to be my bow. So I'm just going to wrap it around. And then put off some extra. I'm going to move it up toward the very top because if it's in our tear tray, we want it to show. And also, I've got a little trick to show you on the tear tray. I think I might have shown it yesterday. But All right. So there's a little twine piece. And I don't really want that much extra. So let's just cut this, cut this, and then when you put this on your tear tray, oh, I just got paste on my finger and got it on the bottom of this. That messy crafter again. <laughs> so I'm going to just wipe that off real quick. Okay. Now I'm using the, this is the, a tear tray that I already had. So if you use the Chalk Couture tear tray, it's going to look a little bit different. I am going to order that one. I just haven't done it yet. But when you put something inside, let's see if I can raise it up here. And my base is not as big as the Chalk Couture tray because this fits perfectly on the Chalk Couture tray. But when you have something and you want to raise it up, you can get a whole package of these little blocks at Dollar Tree and you put it on your tear tray and you put it underneath whatever it is that you want to raise up so that you can see the whole thing. So just a little trick. I use it on my tear trays all the time. So like this little cup that I showed you all yesterday that I got, when you put that on a tear tray, 
your some of it is going to be behind the edge. So you just put the little blocks underneath and that raises it up. And I'm going to have to go back and sand that because I got paste for my hand <laughs> on the top of it. But it will sand right off, so no worries. Okay, Tina, bye. All right. So now we have this cute little frame. And I want to put give thanks on this one. And all five of these pieces do come in a kit, and I will post the link to, I put shopping cart links in the comments, and it adds everything that I used, and I have been adding the little artist toolkit, but when you click on that link, if you don't want everything that I've put in the cart, you can remove things, you can add things. If you want to add squeegees or the board eraser um, or anything else, paste, you can add those. So you don't have to get everything that's in the cart link. You can add or take away. All right. This one, I'm making sure I pressed in really well. I love this font. Okay, I think this one needs to be in rust. Oh, maybe we'll do some. Let's see. So we've got our books like this. So I think we'll mix our forest and our rust. So I'm going to do give in forest and thanks in rest. You guys may get tired of this color. <laughs> because I think I'm going to be using it on everything. So pretty. All right, and let's do thanks. And both of these colors, I believe, are in that little packet that has the paste packets that I mentioned earlier. And the paste packets do give you enough to do more than one project. This one has not wanted to stay sealed down like I would like, so I'm hoping that I don't have any bleeding. We don't have to see. All right. Peel in the video. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Those colors are so pretty together.
All right. So now all we have left, this one here as well. All we have left is our little rolling pin. And I, I think I'm just going to do the word autumn on here. It says autumn vibes, but I think I just want to do autumn. So let's just put this in here. And press it down really well. And let's see what color do I want to use. I think I will use the forest again. Of course. Make sure that's pressed down really well. So then I'm going to just scrape off the excess. Okay, so there we go. There are all five pieces. And tomorrow I will come back and we will put our tray together and add some other things. I will put the shopping link in the description. And thanks so much for joining. I hope you have an awesome day.